Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering two spinal cord questions from previous question papers. This is from a June 2024 question paper. Let's go through it guys. So the diagram below represents a reflex arc. You are given a diagram. Let me get my pen. You are given the diagram with um, letters of the different structures in this particular diagram. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy stuff. All right. We can see there's a finger. There's a candle. So that means there'll be cells, receptor cells, receiving that change in the environment, which is the heat, sending these impulses. Um, through this neuron here, neuron C, and the impulses will be transmitted to this neuron here in the gray matter. So that is neuron A. Same thing, same thing, right? Then uh, those um, impulses will also then be transmitted through this neuron, neuron F, okay, towards structure E. So let's see, give only the letter. Of the part that represents just the letter, not the name, just the letter that represents the effector. There is the effector, so that is letter E. Then letter of the interneuron, there is the interneuron, same. This is the interneuron, this is the interneuron, so letter A. Connector uh, interneuron is the same thing. You find it in between the sensory and the motor neuron. Then the letter for the sensory neuron, that will be letter C. So sensory neuron impulses transmitted from the receptors. Remember, this becomes a receptor. Then this becomes an effector. So from the receptor to the central nervous system, um, that's the sensory neuron, letter C. Right. So 1.4.2, you need to give the letter and the name for this particular question. You give the letter and the name of the neuron in the diagram that is probably damaged if the neuron that will probably be damaged, sorry, sorry, the neuron that will probably be damaged if a person is able to feel the heat of the candle's flame, but is not able to move their hand away. This is a popular, popular kind of a question, guys, when it comes to the reflex arc, right? So they're saying the person is able to feel the heat from the candle's flame, but is not able to move their hand away. So which neuron do you think is damaged? So let's see. From here, they're able to feel. So that means impulses will be transmitted through the sensory neuron. So that means this one is fine, right? And they'll also be transmitted from the sensory neuron. So that means this connector neuron is also fine. But if this person is not able to feel, remember the effector may be a muscle. And this muscle will need to contract in order for the person to move their hand away from that heat. So that means the neuron that is damaged is actually this one, F. The one that is supposed to send the impulses to the effector so that the effector may respond. Meaning the muscle may contract or should contract in order for this person to move their hand away from the heat. So the letter of the neuron that is damaged is F. And the name of that neuron is the motor neuron. This kind of a question um, is very popular, guys. So please find a way of understanding it. It's very easy to understand. State if the nerve impulse travels from D to E or from E to D. Wait. State if the nerve impulse travels from, is it from D to E or from E to D? Let us see. From D D to E or E to D? Definitely D to E. D, receptor, that's where we start. We receive the stimulus, the change in the environment, which is the heat here. And the impulses will be transmitted through the sensory connector motor. So it's D to E. Easy peasy. D to E. One mark. One, 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 one. Yep. Let's um, go to the next question, guys. 